Hello everybody! It's Steph Hello. here. And here. And here. Maybe way down there. And today I would like to do some of my December favorites with you guys. Woo! So basically my favorites um, is basically going to be makeup related and a few nail products. But I would like to show you guys a little bit throughout the months, like maybe handbags or hats. And I do have sparkly eyebrows. Can't really see it. Apparently it's a new fad. I thought it was cool. So I'm gonna do this. Favorites of you guys. See you in a few minutes. First things first. Cosmo. Gotta have that Cosmo. For my face, I like to use the Glorious Eye Primer by Unique. Next off, I would ask, ask, like mention uh, foundation, but because my face has been really broken out with a bunch of blemishes and stuff like that, like I just figured I would wait until I found a good thing that worked for me because I have sensitive skin. And yeah, so I was using the nails in Scarlet, and apparently it's made. Soft and gentle, like basically a highlighter. Basically, I've been just using this MAC highlighter on me, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Like, my sister wanted me to come over and do her face, and I'm like, if I did, you know, my MAC, if you want it, you wait, you wait. Next for my eyes, I've been recently using this Claire's palette that I just bought. I've been using this palette um, because it's more like a soft shimmery nude. On the top you have your glitter and I, because the fad has been, like a lot of men have been putting glitter in their beards and now women are putting glitter in their armpits, in their eyebrows, and I was like, I'm not putting it in my armpits and I'm not putting it anywhere, mm -mm. so because it's a soft gel, I just put it on my eyebrows I'm like, I might as well just, oh, look at that streak. Anyways, so I put that in my eyebrows just to see and shock half the people and they'll be like, oh my god, look at your eyebrows. I can't even tell, but it's in there. Next is LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in white. I lied, it says seashells. Because I've been really tired lately and, you know, it's gloomy around here. There isn't much snow, so it's been like raining off and on. I've been just using this white pencil to line my eyes and you know make me look a little bit more awake you know what I know you know what I mean mm -hmm. so that's been my go-to even sometimes I'll put it on my lid to like pop out some color like today I'm wearing purple purple like a cranberry in the outer corner but like I said my camera sucks but yeah so that's that so 3D Fab Eyelashes! Yeah! Now I have eyelashes and stuff like that, but um, because of my anxiety and stuff like that, sometimes I pick at my eyelashes, so apparently it takes eyelashes a long time to grow back. 
and so they just recently came to a certain length that I like, but um, before when I was actually going through a hard time and I was picking at my eyebrows, picking at my eyelashes, um, they were falling out, but I would just go in with the, the fiber lashes and it would help pump it up and when one side of my eye would be longer, like the one lashes would be a little bit longer than this side, so I'd go in and try and even them out and look as best as possible. So I, this is a really go-to, plus I really don't feel like paying for like falsies if I can just do them myself, right? So this is 3D Fiber Lashes by Unique. Next would be the MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, oh, there you go. Kind of sort of see it. Along with Soar Lip Liner woo, by MAC. So these two are the go-to right now for lips and that's what I'm wearing my lips for right now. But, but Kylie Jenner. Holy Kylie Jenner thing going on. So I bought this because of everything else and literally I've been in love like if if not for the lip liner the lipstick is really nice um, it does stay on a bit longer um, than the lip liner yeah so but yeah they're both really really good very creamy creamy matte and when I drink stuff it gets everywhere but it still looks like it's on oh see see that Glitter, glitter. So yeah, those are my go-tos for my lips. Normally I would wear like a unique um, ball to do, which is a bit lighter, so, but I go on top of it with Lux lip gloss from Unique. But lately I've been really liking the MAC, so yeah. On to the actual stuff on my face for brushes. The powder puff brush. Oh, sorry, it didn't. From Unique. Ooh, see the top? Almost looks like a kabuki brush, basically. But up till recently, like today, I've been using this for my foundation, and I was also using this for my highlighting tool and blush, which, because I didn't have a whole lot of brushes, I basically had my, my angle brush for bronzing and stuff like that. But my mom recently. Got, gave me my Christmas present a bit early because she knows that I love makeup and she wants to keep me going with this whole makeup thing so she gave me um, a four pack of brushes from Still and also like there I got like two or three blending brushes so that was pretty cool of her. Thanks mom! Which also states what I love next besides this powder puff brush blending brushes. So I basically told my mom that I love um, blending brushes because I feel like you can you can use them for anything. You can pat one on the eye, like put it on the eye, blend it out, corner, blend it out. You know how it goes. Blend, blend, blend. So I bought one and my mom gave me two. So Okay, so it's two she bought me. So now I have three blending brushes from Still Spa Essentials, Walmart brand, but you want to know what? If you take care of your brushes and you clean them after use, sometimes I neglect that, then the longer the last. Mm. Next would be OPI Lacquer in the color. Get your number. So basically this is, um, it says liquid sand on top. When I bought it, I bought it for the actual, like, really, really pretty, pretty blue. Like, you can't tell, but it's a really nice, like, snow, Christmas, pretty blue. Like, look at the glitter. I'm a glitter freak, by the way. And basically when I bought this, it was, um, they, she said it comes out like sand. I'm like, okay, what does sand mean? Like, is it gonna come out like really different texture like acrylic and or something like that and I open it and I put it on it was like a regular nail polish and I'm like oh okay like whatever but as it dried it turned into like a nice um, grit a really nice like gritty feeling like it felt like sand dried on your fingernails but if you put a top coat on it it'll still be like it'll be smooth finish and pretty but regardless it is really 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 pretty color sorry about my foot 
and you can see also what's next on my list and the next is Jamberry. Uh, Jamberry, uh, Nail Lacquer, and Vamp. Vamp! So basically this. It looks black, but it's actually a very, very, very dark um, cranberry red. Um, so basically I bought this like maybe a month or two ago and this has been one of my favorite nail polishes to wear. Um, on my Instagram account I actually, um, when I got the gel and everything, when I did my unboxing, I was like, oh, I really need to get this. This will be the first nail lacquer that I get from Jamberry. And I also have Stardust, which is actually really, really, really pretty, but I'll put that up on another favorites on another month. And yeah, so this is like a very Christmassy, like you could wear it for Christmas, any time of the year. It'll work with anything. I really love this stuff. I love Jamberry. Jamberry is amazing. So yeah. Last but not least, my quartz watch that I got for $20. Isn't it pretty? Got diamonds. Ro looks like it's rose gold. Looks like I got money. I ain't got no money. But yeah. So thank you all for watching and I hope you have all have a fantastic day. And I love you all, and I'll see you later. Bye! See, I fucking told you there was glitter in my eyebrows. See you shit? Yeah!